He's guarded by Ross. Thompson in the corner. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. And they could have used that trying to cut into this league. He's been off all night. He's covered by Thompson. Here's Santos. Off target from the wing. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. On the wing, Thompson. It's tipped. And right on target with the swish. He's got 23. Gone three of four from downtown here in the fourth. Now here's Ross. Tight defense on him. Jumper off the screen. Kept alive. And if you let the little guy get airborne before you slide over to block him out, he can and will embarrass you on the boards. They set the pick. To take the lead. Not going to go that time. And in the fourth quarter, has been efficient at 56%. Here's Santos. That's tipped. 158 left in the fourth quarter. To tie it up. The shot misses. Being at 44%, pretty reasonable. Now here's Ross. Not a lot of room. To the inside. Drilled from 11 feet out. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. There's the screen. It's up a three. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. What a time for him to step up. Big three right there. That's what you have to do. Clutch shots, clutch shooters. They come through in those positions. An incredible reverse throwdown. Excellent body control. And guys, I'd even go as far to say that was a punctuation dunk. The three fly. Eric Bledsoe grabs the miss. There's 49 seconds left in the game. Here's Santos. Can't connect from 13 feet out. Guys, your thoughts? And usually you want to go for the two for one here to maximize the clock. A chance now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, John Henson. And he's provided them with a major mismatch on that low block tonight that they've been able to lean on his scoring in the paint and if nothing else has worked he, he's given them a reliable option on every possession off the inbound sinks it and what a sensational bucket to bring them within one <laughs> what more can you ask for phenomenal here in the clutch this is what fans tune in to see there's the pass to slaughter got a piece of it and now they decide to foul intentionally And taking care of the ball has been a problem for them. That's something they've got to fix. While the defense has been good, a lot of these turnovers have been unforced. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by two.
He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. Guys, your thoughts? And it all comes down to this. Still enough time on the clock that they should be able to get a real good look. A lot of time left, which should allow for a really good shot if they run the right play. Thompson, he's checked in for Malcolm Delaney. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. They set the pick. Good from beyond the arc. What a shot. But they may take a second to look at it. Boy, that was close. Well, they are going to replay right now to make sure he did not release it in time as the officials originally ruled. Well, they had thought they had the game already won. Now they've got their fingers crossed. And, and to me, guys, it, it looks pretty clear cut on the instant replay. I mean, the ball was out of his hands in time. I think they'll confirm this one pretty quickly. And they're going to count it after looking at the replay. They rule that he got the shot off in time. G.A., they won it oh, on wow. the buzzer beater. Uh, uh, Kevin, oh. you talk about winning it at the very last second. What a finish. Thankfully, the replay gets the officials off the hook on what would have been an awful call to miss. The visiting club takes the win on the road. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for him. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Steve Smith, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.